Introducing Live Tracks for Sunday Keys. This brand new expansion for Sunday Keys for Mainstage gives you complete control of up to 16 simultaneous backing tracks running in perfect sync. Dial in your perfect backing track mix, mixing down tracks you don't need, and enjoy flexible live playback with the ability to loop sections, dynamically jump around the arrangement on the fly, and to smoothly fade out the song at the touch of a button. Additional features make it easy to change the key or tempo of your tracks at will, and you'll find that routing audio to suit your specific needs is simple as well. Live Tracks enhances your existing Sunday Keys setup without compromising any of the features you love. Take full advantage of all your Keys patches, the Tonic Pad Generator, and even the Live Mixer and Worship Beats expansion packs right alongside of Live Tracks without skipping a beat. And since Live Tracks operates at the set level in main stage, you can even cycle through multiple keys patches while running a single set of backing tracks at the same time. Live Tracks for Sunday Keys, the simple and elegant way to run backing tracks in main stage. Hey everyone, David from Sunday Sounds here today to introduce you to Live Tracks for Sunday Keys. This is an expansion pack for our Sunday Keys template for main stage that gives you full control over up to 16 backing tracks running in real time within the familiar Sunday Keys interface. This makes it easy for anyone to run backing tracks using Sunday Keys for main stage, even if you have no prior experience doing so. Live Tracks for Sunday Keys gives you control over 16 channels of audio, the ability to flexibly move around your arrangement, to smoothly fade out any time, to loop a section. It's fully integrated with main stage's built-in metronome, and you can even adjust the key of your backing tracks in real time, as well as the tempo. To start off with, I've got the backing tracks that I created for an arrangement of the song Come Thou Fount loaded into Live Tracks. As you can see, I've got markers that were added to the song in Logic Pro. I'm automatically able to view these markers within Live Tracks for Sunday Keys. So I can start the tracks by just hitting the play button. And you'll hear Main Stage's metronome count in because I have count in set to on. If I want the click to keep running, I can just engage the click button there. And it's going to automatically move through the predetermined arrangement that I put together in Logic Pro. But I can jump around the arrangement at any time by just clicking on a marker here in the list. It will automatically jump at the next downbeat so everything stays perfectly in sync. And as you can see, different elements come in or out, and I am able to mix them independently. So I can take out the percussion if I'd like take out the keys parts if I've got a live keys player, take out that synth bass. I've got total control of the way these backing tracks sound, all within live tracks. And then I can just smoothly fade these out. My fade time right now is set to 8 seconds, so it's going to happen smoothly. If I change my mind, I can just hit fade again. They're going to fade back in over the same period of time. You can also loop any section at any time by just clicking loop, and that's going to stay engaged until I turn it off. Stop the track here, and I'm going to stop the click as well. I can adjust the pitch of the track, so this track by default is in the key of E. Let this come in here. But let's say that I needed to bring it down to the key of D. I just click and drag down two half steps, and now I'm in the key of D. The tempo is not affected, all of this pitch shifting happens in real time. And by default, the last three tracks do not pitch shift, so my percussion and electric drum parts aren't going to be all wonky and pitch shifted. They're going to stay true to the original key. And if I need to, I can just go back up to E. Super simple, super easy to use. I've got this time to next display that lets me know how much time is left in this section of the song before the next marker. So if you need to jump to a different marker at the right time, you can just keep an eye on that clock down there. It's going to make sure that you're always in the right place. So Live Tracks makes it super simple to run backing tracks inside of Sunday Keys for main stage even if you've never done it before. Let me just give you a little bit of a peek behind the curtain to let you know how simple it is to load your tracks into Live Tracks. I'm gonna open up the channel strip view over here in edit mode, and I'm gonna to go to the set level. Live Tracks for Sunday Keys operates at the set level, which means after you load the included layout file into your Sunday Keys workspace in layout mode, you'll just need to reassign your keyboard, sustain pedal, and mod wheel. And then in edit mode, you just load the live tracks for Sunday Keys set into your concert patch list, anywhere that you'd like to run a backing track. And then you can use any patches that you'd like within that set while your tracks are playing. 
So if you need to switch around through multiple patches, you don't have to have multiple instances of the same backing track. And you don't have to perfectly execute the timing of your patch changes to do so because everything that's running your tracks is operating at the set level. So I have both of these patches available to me while my tracks are playing at the set level. This also allows me to set or change the tempo of the tracks at the set level, as well as the time signature. And because everything's synced up, tempo changes are automatically gonna take hold and affect the tracks without any weird artifacting, unless you go to extreme tempo or pitch changes. So now, at the set level, this is where you're going to load in your backing tracks. You can see I've got a channel strip representing each track that's available inside of live tracks. Tracks 1 through 13 are affected by the pitch control. Then 14, 15, and 16 by default are not affected. This is where you're going to load things like your spoken guide tracks and anything that's percussion or not keys based or not key specific. So this is as simple as opening up the instance of playback on a given channel strip hitting the settings cog here next to the file window and choosing open file and then you're just going to load in your .aif or .caf audio file that's going to automatically sync up to the tempo and to the key that you've predetermined you're going to repeat that process for every track that you need to load in and then you can name the channel strips down here and the great thing is that the channel strip name is automatically going to be reflected in the fader underneath the volume fader here in the in the live tracks area so it's super simple to keep track of what you have where and to make all of the mix decisions that you need you've also included a stereo mono toggle so if you need to be able to pan your multi tracks hard left or hard right and pan your click and guide the other way you don't have to manually do that just ch change everything to mono go to the channel strip area and then pan hard left or hard right as needed now when you purchase live tracks you're given access to a full tutorial video that explains how to prep your tracks set them up in Logic with markers, how to export them into live tracks for Sunday Keys really quickly and easily. But that's a little bit of a glimpse at the process because we've done everything that we can to make it super simple for you to get your backing tracks up and running inside of live tracks for Sunday Keys super quickly. If you have any questions about how live tracks works, feel free to reach out to us via our website. And there's more information on how live tracks works available on the product page. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope that you'll check out live tracks and make it a part of your next worship set, whether that's at home or at your church for a live stream. Have a great day.